Thank you for joining everyone. Today on my channel, we're going to look at the newest update of Conan. More specifically, we're going to look at how to capture, raise, and train pets. Step 1. Building a pen. When choosing a pen, it's important to choose a pen that is appropriate for your strength of your pet. There are three levels of pens, each pen type with increasing strengths. You can unlock each of these pens in your submenu here. Today, we'll just go ahead and make the strongest pen so we can capture any creature we wish. Keep in mind the strength of your pet before you find yourself with nowhere to store that rhino. Building a trough. The feed trough is very easy to build, and it's a very important tool. The feed trough will feed all pets in an area of a 50 by 50 radius. By simply placing food within the range of your own pet, the pet will automatically remove the food and eat. The trough will also show you how long each pet has before running out of food. This is important to keep track of your pets. If you notice any pets who are in need of food, you can manually place food in their inventory. This is usually due to them being too far from the feed trough. Step 2. Stealing a baby. Stealing a baby. So raising pets is a dirty business. The fact is babies don't steal themselves. So where do we find the future murder machines? Right here. You can find wolves in many places. Right here in the forest biome, there's a wolf den. I found three here on my first run. Over in the desert biome, near Pride Rock, there's an oasis that has rhino babies. This jaguar I found when literally sitting right next to the obelisk deep in the jungle. The bear cubs. I was able to find several of them on this island in the center of this lake. The spiders were much more difficult, as you were only able to find them, as to my understanding, at this one merchant shop right here in Buccaneers Bay. You can also find shoebill and sand reaper eggs here. These merchants can be found in Buccaneers Bay at the top of the ship structure you find there. Step 3. Making food. There is food to breed, and there is food to eat. When making food for your 2B killing machines, there are two types of food to consider. One is simply for your pets to eat, and the other is food to breed with. When breeding your pets, you can possibly spawn stronger versions of each pet type based on the quality of food the youngling was fed during the breeding process. So for instance, the bear is more than happy eating raw meat, but if fed honey, the bear will cook faster in the pen, thus producing a pet on the double time. Spiders do require an extra step. The spider egg sac is exactly what it sounds like, just an egg sac. It must hatch into a young spider. That spider must then be placed in the pen enclosure for taming. The egg itself can take some time to gestate, but if you place the egg inside of a compost heat, it will hatch in 70 minutes instead, much quicker than the 24 hour time first recommended. After enough time, your pets will become your best friend and ready to fight by your side. Each pet type will require different food types. Your rhino is interested in bark. The spider is interested in putrid flesh. The wolves are interested in raw flesh, while the bear is interested in raw fish. You can find each food requirement listed below on the creature page right here. With enough care and plenty of love, you can go from an exile with stick to a boy and his dog. Thank you for coming in. If you enjoyed the content today, make sure to hit that like below. If you want to see more, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Tune in daily for my live streams and ask me questions about anything you might see here. If you have any questions, you can always leave them in the comment section below. I happily answer every single question that comes to me. Again, thank you for stopping in and you all have yourselves a wonderful day.